So now that I've got the role-based security working, the next thing I want to introduce you to are the, is the concept of master pages. And with master pages, we're basically making a template uh, that has the dynamically changing data in it for each page that you go to. So if I were to sketch out what I wanted my web page to, what my, my page, the pages on my website to look like, it might be something like this, like this wireframe. So I might like this pink border, and then I would want to have a header and a footer. And I want those things to be the same across every page on my entire site. Then I'll have this body section. And this body section is the only thing that will update as I go from page to page. Otherwise, the header and the footer will remain exactly the same. So just to get this simple uh, web uh, template up and going, I first did it in HTML so I could see what it would look like. And I have something that looks similar to this. The pink border, it'll have a header, and it'll have a footer. The footer text will not change. The header text will not change. But this body section will update as I go from page to page. So to make this happen, I'm going to use master pages. So I'll get into my homework. All right, I'll get into my to the root of my website here. I'm going to add a new item. I'm going to add a new master page. You can call it whatever you want. It has to end in master. I'm going to leave it to the default, master page master. Code in a separate file behind. Okay, so now that my master page has been created, there's a couple of things to take note of. Up here in the head section, notice I have ASP content placeholder ID head. So I can have dynamic content appearing up here as well. Down here in the body section, within this div, I have content placeholder one. Here's where dynamic content will be inserted. So now my goal is to make this look as close to that HTML page as I can. And I'm going to just, first thing I'm going to need is a style sheet. So I'll grab that link. So there's my open and close body, there's my open and close form, there's my open and close container. So the container div is going to be the pink uh, border that holds everything. Open and close the header, open and close the main, and open and close the footer. And then I've just put some placeholder text uh, in the header and the footer. And then this main, uh, I've left blank. It's just be this. It will just be this updating content. So I'll save that. I need to create that style sheet now. So now I've set the styling for all of the IDs in the master page, and then I can save this up. So to make the master page work, then I'm going to go. To, I'm going to delete the default that was already in there, and I'm going to create a new one. Add a new item. Web form. I'm going to go ahead and call it default. And this time I'm going to select master page. When I click add, it will show me my list of master pages. I'll pick that one. So now notice that the default, the only thing that's in this page now is the, the dynamic content for head and the dynamic content for content placeholder one. So whatever I type up here will go in that head section and whatever I type here will go into the body section. So now by doing this, I would expect the when default loads, it'll grab the master page. 
the master page will load it'll give me that header and footer text and then it will in this uh, content placeholder one section of the master page it will put this text so let's see if that works save it all up I want to view it in the browser and it seems to be working so now I can go into my admin section and I'll put a new default up there select a master page I'll view this in the browser master page loads and where I see this default content placeholder one is where my text appears so I could have multiple of these uh, if I had a sidebar I could have I could add uh, a content three and have it be placeholder three or I can give this a different name if I want um, but I could have dynamic content both in the body section and in a sidebar section uh, if I wanted to so I'm going to go through and just add this uh, to the rest of the page. Okay. Now if I want to make uh, a change, I can simply do it uh, using the master page. So if I wanted to add a different section, uh, if I wanted to add a new um, column for the menu or a new div for the menu, I'll just copy this down. menu I can add the menu to my style sheet Now when I view in the browser, uh, I should have this new div. There it is. I just needed to refresh my page. So that's the unauthenticated users. And now if I go to the admin, admin has it. they'll all have it. I can make the change in one place and have it populate throughout all of my pages. So this is using master pages. They're very useful uh, to make your website modular uh, and make uh, the updates and the changes much much easier.